Uh, this is my uh, collection of uh, double action revolvers. Got a total of eight of them here. Uh, got other single actions, but these are personally uh, my favorite of the double action revolvers. Uh, from left to right, <laughs> starting at the top, I have a Smith & Wesson Model 19. That's a Dash 5 model. It's, it is not one with the uh, pinned barrel or the recessed cylinders. I think it was the first uh, uh, dash model that did away with those two features. Below that is a 586. It's a no dash. Got it, I believe, the first year it came out. And then below that is a, a 686, a 4 inch, again a no dash model. And I got that uh, oh, early 1980s sometime, but not new. Uh, next to that, <laughs> we got two pythons. The top one is a 4 inch model. And the bottom one, obviously, is a six-inch model. The uh, the python on top I inherited from my cousin after he passed away, and same for the the Smith and Wesson model 19. Uh, the uh, the bottom, the six-inch model I acquired oh, sometime late 70s. Both of these pythons are, I believe, mid to late 1970s production. And then on the far right, we got the, the Ruger's top up there is a is a Red Hawk in 44 Magnum. Below that is another Red Hawk in a five and a half inch 44 Magnum. The top one is seven and a half inch. And below that is is my Security Six. Again, bought sometime in the early 80s. Uh, and uh, the, like I said, the two Red Hawks are both 44 Magnums. All the rest of the pistols you see here. Are, 357s obviously can shoot 38 specials. Um, start off, I guess we'll talk a little bit about the Smith and Wessons. Uh, the one I, you know, the the Model 19, uh, I really like. In some ways, I like it better than the 586. I know they, uh, you know, some people claim if you shoot them a whole heck of a lot with really hot loads, they'll shoot loose. But uh, that's never been a problem. At least I've never had a problem with it. Of course, most of my shooting is done with light loads that I hand load myself, uh, you know, to 38 special levels. But, uh, you know, it has had a share of uh, relatively hot loads. Uh, that probably of all the revolvers I have, the Smith & Wessons are my favorite. I don't know, there's just something about them that appeals to me. I like the cylinder latch arrangement. I like the feel of the grips. I like the trigger pull in particular. Uh, and uh, what kind of surprises me a little bit is how good the trigger pull is on the uh, on the uh, 686. Uh, I've always thought, probably incorrectly, that stainless steel was not quite could not be made quite as smooth as is the you know the typical carbon or blued steel guns, but that one sure is, and or at least to, to my to my mind it sure is, and I really enjoy shooting that pistol. Uh, uh, I also like the fact that, uh, like I said, uh, uh, all of these pistols, the Smiths, are old enough that they have the uh, the hammer-mounted fire pin and the larger uh, 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 cylinder re release latch. That appeals to me. Uh, I'm not sure that it's any better or any worse than the current current models. I know these don't have any of the the MIM parts, or and I'm and I'm not saying those are bad because I really don't know, but uh, the fact that the these are older models kind of appeals to me, and uh, so therefore <laughs> I like them a lot. Since I inherited the, the Model 19, uh, you know, since I inherited it, I I intend to keep it. I won't be trading it off or anything like that. Uh, I, I, Kind of would prefer if it was a little. It was in a four-inch model, but that's what I got, and that's what my cousin bought. Got me, so I'm planning to keep it as 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 long as well as the python. Pythons, I admit, they have fantastically smooth triggers. Uh, they're a lot of fun to shoot, but uh, there's just something about the Smiths that appeal to me even just a little bit more than the pythons. Uh, uh, Pythons are great guns, and the top one, my cousin shot a lot. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it here and there, 
see it. I think uh, you can see it on the barrel. He carried it a lot. He's got, you know, both sides, and so yeah, it, it's not as as uh, as pristine as the, as the six inch, but it's been shot a lot more, and uh, it's still a great gun. So anyway, I you know it's just one of those personal taste things. I just kind of prefer the 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 Smiths over the Pythons. And I also, to some extent, prefer prefer them over the Rugers. Uh, I like that cylinder latch arrangement that the that the Rugers use. Uh, that little push button thing works very very well. It's very positive and everything. And it, I find it just easier to manipulate a little bit than 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 the Colts. Uh, in fact, the, the the Security Six at the bottom there is the first uh, double action revolver I ever acquired. And uh, I've grown quite fond of it, you know. Slightly prefer the Smith and Wessons to that one, but uh, not by a whole heck of a lot. It's, uh, it's, uh, you know. In fact, when uh, Ruger, I guess it was sometime in the early 1980s, they uh, brought out the GP100, which eventually replaced the Security Six. I, uh, you know, I got kind of excited, I was anxious to go look at them and everything, and I have to admit, uh, when I picked one up and handled it a little, little bit, I decided, you know what, uh, I prefer the Security 6, and uh, so, I'm, you know, I never, uh, after handling it a few times, uh, excuse me, handling the uh, the GP100 a few times, I just, uh, it just, uh, I just <laughs> kind of lost interest in them, so, uh, I've kept my Security 6 and my Ruger Redhawks. I like them both. Uh, you know, the required the 7.5 inch, inch one first and then the 5.5 inch. Uh, if there's a downside to the Redhawks, it's kind of a downside and an upside. And that is the weight of the things. They are heavy. Uh, you know, I mean, they're not heavy to pick up or anything and, and whatnot, but when you're Carrying them around all day long, walking around on the hills and rocks and whatnot and everything, they're just sometimes more heavy than more of a, more of a burden than you really want to carry around the country for you know six or eight hours. Um, and since I'm down here in Texas, where not likely to run into grizzly bear or anything like that, you know, it's just one of those things that you probably. Uh, you probably are not going to find absolutely necessary. Now, on the on the other hand, the weight is obviously an advantage when you start shooting full power 44 magnums, because uh, you know 44 magnum is the most powerful handgun that I personally own. I know that's been equipped clips by a lot of other, you know, 500 magnums, you know, on this and that, and I can't even remember them all, but you know, personally in a handgun, that's all I personally want to shoot. <laughs> so, been very pleased with that. Uh, anyway, this is uh, kind of just a brief look at my double action revolvers. Uh, as you can see, I've got four stainless, four blued. Uh, you know, I actually prefer, obviously, I like the, I like the look of the blued guns. I, uh, uh, but I also appreciate the the wear resistance of the stainless steel and uh, so you know I like the wooden grips you can see I've got wooden grips on all but one and that's that four inch python uh, anyway that's that's the way it was when I got it I don't think those are original grips on it but the, the rest of the grips on these pistols are I believe well I take that back the 686 had some Pacmire grips on it when I got it and I acquired those grips a while back, and I prefer them to the Pacmire grips. Uh, they just, to me, they look better, they feel better, and so that's what it's got. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, uh, I just wanted to have a little look at these guns, so I laid them out on the table here. And it, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for your time and watching this video. And uh, Hope to have another one out pretty soon. Probably take the 686 up to the country and do a shooting, short shooting video with it. Maybe in a, a couple of 
couple of weeks. Thanks. Bye.